and I put a original Harmony gold foil pickup in it. Uh, I fucking drilled right into it, man. I don't care. I drilled the fucking holes right there. I don't care. Me, uh, for 600 bucks out of East M, Massachusetts. Am I saying that right? But for 600 bucks, a uh, an Epiphone Broadway archtop. Uh, yeah, one of nice. the one of the more recent ones. Um, but this one was sunburst, so it's at least you know probably early 2000s ish. Um, yeah. I think that's around when they stopped doing sunburst ones. Uh, with a case for 600 bucks, it's a great deal. If you're looking for a you know jazz yeah. box. So. All right. Uh, speaking of Epiphone, we've got a uh, made in Japan at the uh, Maru Sumoko. Am I saying that right? The Matsusumoko factory? Could not tell you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got it for thirteen fifty. Uh, maybe it's a little high for a, um, an Epiphone Casino. It's not an elitist, but it is built in 1981. It looks pretty sweet. Um, it's probably a lot better than the uh, Korean and Chinese ones now, and those are actually pretty good too. Uh, so for 300 bucks out of Worcester, a Fender Blues Junior. Um, looking at the pictures, uh, this looks like a, a cream board version, um, which is a version that I have. Um, been an awesome amp for what 15, 20 years, somewhere in there. Yeah. You know, they're they're great. So Blues Junior for 300 bucks can't beat it. Sure not. Uh, out of Sturbridge, our friend, friend of the show, Ed, uh, he doesn't even watch the show. I don't even think he knows I have a stupid <laughs> show. <laughs> but a uh, friend of mine, Ed. This is a 50s Tweed Vibro Champ, 8-inch uh, speaker, 350. Once again, he hand wires these circuits, he builds the cabs, he uh, upholsters the cabs. Uh, fully hand built. Awesome. So, yeah, you can't beat that for the money. Yeah. Uh, next one, uh, speaking of amps, so for 400 bucks out of North Kingstown, Rhode Island, uh, a Silvertone 1464 amp. So this is a solid state, um, head and cab. Um, you know the the cab setup with Silvertone, where the head will fit inside the cab. Oh, the piggyback uh, cab. Yep, which yeah, is cool. That's cool. Um, this particular one, you know, a couple scratchy pots. You know, cabs missing the back panel, but for 400 bucks, um, really hard to beat. And don't let old solid state amps fool you. I mean, those are fun. Yeah, solid state amps are, are really cool. Uh, out of Boston, there is a. Speaking of Silvertone, uh, there's a Silvertone arch top. These old uh, uh, Kentucky Derby ones, where they got that cool paint job. Uh, you don't see those around as often, um, and once again, they're probably in not that great a shape, but this one looks clean. It's 200 bucks. Spend another 300 bucks, have someone take care of it for you. Awesome, awesome arch tops. Uh, last one for me out of Greenfield, Massachusetts. Um, so I've seen this this uh, person uh, have some guitars for sale from time to time, but we have a Mary Kay Strat clone yeah. uh, that was built uh, by someone in Greenfield that builds builds guitars, both uh, kind of parts casters like this and things that seem a little bit more uh, more custom made. Um, this one, you know, you look at the specs, right? So for 725 bucks, you got a nitro finish, you've got a bound rosewood fretboard, um, you know, on an all parts neck, um, an ash body. Noiseless pickups, which may be your cup of tea, but maybe is an easy thing to swap. Yeah. But for 725 bucks, that's hard to beat for a, for a Strat, um, unless you really care that it's not a Fender. Uh, what the fuck is yeah, this? What is this thing? This is a uh, tricone uh, resonator in uh, excellent condition, and I put a original Harmony gold foil pickup in it. Uh, I fucking drilled right into it, man. I don't care. I drilled the fucking holes right there. I don't care. I did a good job. It looks fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> with a volume and tone, this thing looks killer. So. Yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, worst of the week. 
Uh, super simple, uh, no problem. We're just gonna pull it off, super easy. Uh, out of uh, Warwick, Warwick, Rhode Island, there's a Ovation Bala Beer for 650. Stupid. Balladeer. Balladeer, I know what it is. Sorry. Uh, there's a <laughs> PV Rotor Custom Crackle out of Johnston, Rhode Island for 275. Stupid guitar. Uh, and then last, there's the uh, Ovation Wichita Lineman, the Glen Campbell version, going for $900. A $900 Ovation out of fucking Rhode Island again. Uh, and that's it. There's no uh, pedal corner this week. No, um, no pedal corner. There's some uh, some pedal corners uh, being lined up for the future, but uh, nothing to really go over right now. Yeah. Uh, instead of that, you should go watch the um, uh, Godfrey Guitars interview, which yeah. came out great. Came out great. Uh, once again, thanks to Les Godfrey. Um, awesome guy to talk to. Awesome. Uh, that was a that was a really fun interview. Yeah. Don't watch this show. Watch the interviews. The yeah. interviews are cool. And watch all of them. They're wonderful. Yeah. So. Uh, Speaking of interviews, do you want to talk about what we potentially have lined up? Yeah, we got a big one lined up. Uh, we can bleep his name out so we don't get embarrassed if it doesn't happen. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna interview man, this man, <laughs> man. That's a big one. Uh, yeah, that's huge. Uh, that's huge. We should bleep the name out because that might not happen. But we'll I, see. Know, I know. Excellent. Um, that's all I got. All right. Well, thank you so much, Craigslist. Thank you, Craigslist. We'll see you soon. Okay.